I'm Dana K. White of EslobChemsClean.com. I'm also the author of How to Manage Your Home Without Losing Your Mind. And I'm going to do a really quick little decluttering project here today. So I have two things. This is all I need. A black trash bag, a donatable donate box, um, and my feet because I'll take things where they go right now. All of these are decluttering strategies that I have in my book. Um, just so you know, <laughs> this is my actual house um, because this is a constant struggle for me. But I'm going to talk about how this organizing solution is not the actual solution. Right. Organizing solutions are not the solution. Treating them as containers are. Okay. So here's what I not, used to not understand. I used to not understand why I would get some great solution and then it would just be a total disaster it's because I wasn't treating it as a container. I wasn't treating it as a limit. So, for example, underneath all of this, which I have not gone through yet, I don't know what I'm going to find, is um, a really cool little, it's a towel hanging rack, which I really don't have a place for in this house. Um, it worked in my old house, you know, 12 years ago. But, so when I came here, I put it in here and I was like, oh, that's perfect for belts and, you know, things like that, scarves and belts, because I don't have tons of scarves and belts anyway. Um, yeah, but this is what happens because I didn't treat it like a container. Um, what I mean when I say treat it like a container is it has to function as the limit. So once it starts to be just piled on, piled on, well, then I know I have too many. So I know it's time to declutter. How long has it been? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm just going to go through here and get rid of some stuff. This is a scarf. It is, um, I don't wear a lot of scarves. This one, let me see if this is the Disney one. Oh, this is the Disney one, okay? So even though some people might think that's cheesy, this is one I'm actually gonna keep. So um, I don't wear a lot of scarves and I will wear that one. Let's see, oh, this is super cute. I'll never wear it. Sorry, I'm just not a scarf person. I don't think that people who give me scarves watch this. Okay, this belt, yes, I do need it. This one right here is tough because it's from when I lived in Thailand, but I've got a lot of other stuff from when I lived in Thailand. And the truth of this, this isn't a scarf. It's more of a sarong. And honestly, as a mom, I just need an actual dress to wear to the pool as opposed to a sarong because, you know, there's the tying and the, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to let somebody, I'm going to donate this and let somebody else enjoy it. Okay. This is a purse that I totally will use. Um, okay, a navy blue scarf. I don't need it. Um, let's see. This one, I don't need it. Here's the thing. I don't wear a lot of belts. I don't, but I guess I just put them on here. Whatever. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't need a karate belt. Sorry. Um, that is a scarf which I don't wear a lot of them, and it looks itchy. Donate. Okay, this is my husband's belt. I have no, I mean, he does not actually wear this. This is my husband's belt. I have a vague memory when I was like in fourth grade and he was a senior in high school or whatever, um, of seeing him wearing this belt. I have a vague memory, so I've kept it. I don't need it. Okay, so yeah. So I took it where it goes right now because that is how I declutter without making a bigger mess. Um, I take things where they go right now. Instead of having a pile of things to um, deal with later, instead, um, I just go ahead and take it. So like, that was my husband's belt, it's not mine. So I wouldn't put it in his closet. Does that kind of pass the buck to him? Just a little bit, yeah but it definitely doesn't belong here. Where's the first place I would look for his belt? I would never have looked in here. I would look in his closet. He would look in his closet. He would never look here. So I took it there right now, which means I don't have to deal with this. So if I stopped right now, look, this space is better off than it was before. And all I have is a trash bag, which was ready, even though it doesn't have anything in it yet. Um, a donatable donate box, which is ready to be donated. And there's nothing like waiting for later that I would have to do. So I've been able to declutter without making a bigger mess. Okay. All right. So I'm keeping that and I'm keeping 
this and I'm keeping that okay so that side right there is decluttered is it organized but it's so much better than it was before okay here we've got a is this the one okay I actually do wear this one I would look for it right here so I am going to keep that one that one I kind of use as a little shawl um, what do we have here <clears throat> a wool beanie that is a super cute nice thought and someone else will love it but y'all wool is itchy and it's never I mean like basically never cold enough in Texas for it to not be itchy this is the belt for a sweater that I wear without the belt okay um, this is a pink something that I've wondered every time I've looked in here what in the world that was so see ya donate um okay this is a little purse my mother-in-law gave me thinking it would be perfect for me um I have this other purse here that I would look for right here if I needed a new purse I would go okay yes I've got a purse right there I like this one better than this one I don't need two extras so I'm gonna donate this one okay Let's see. Okay, um, a camo cap. No one would look for this hair because I don't wear camo caps. This is not mine. Where would we look for it first? Well, honestly, caps, my husband's caps are, he doesn't have a ton of them, but the first place he looks is on the bedpost by his side of the bed. So that's what I'm gonna do. Go take it there right now. Okay, let me just give you a little tip that I thought of as I come back and I look in the little monitor thing at this area right here. Um, this already looks better. All I've done is just pulled things off that were basically does. Like it wasn't even hard. Nothing in this part has been hard. I took two things where they go, took them there right now, got rid of some stuff that were really obvious to me. If you are not convinced that you have enough time to declutter, take a picture with your phone of a space, any random space, set your timer on your phone for five minutes, work on it, taking things where they go right now or sticking it in a donate box or sticking it in the trash bag. After that five minute timer goes off, even if you're gonna keep going, take another picture and compare the two pictures so that you can see there is a lot of visible progress that can be made in five minutes. Like it's shocking to me, just walking back in here and seeing this little thing, I'm like, Oh, that looks better already. Wow. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. This is a, another color of blue scarf. This one. Oh, goodness. Um, it's another Thailand one. I really loved it when I bought it. Um, I'm going to keep it because... I have space here now okay like I can keep it I'm not sure for sure but I do know that I am now within the limits of this container I can use this organizing solution so much more easily because I don't have extra stuff yes I do actually wear this belt um, but I wasn't wearing it because it was back at the bottom of at the back of things all right I do not wear this belt so that's gonna go um and I have down here, oh, down here I have a little, this is kind of what I take if I'm going to something fancy. I take a little fancy purse. It's the only one I ever take and everything I wear is black anyway, so whatever. Okay. All right. So after five minutes, I'm going to put this lower so that I can see the things that are up here. After five minutes, um, this is a bag that I had on there that I love and I use it all the time. So that's on there too. Hmm. That's so much better. Now this is an organizing solution. That's actually a solution because I let it be a limit. Okay. I look at it and I go, this works as long as I only have in it what it will hold comfortably. As long as I let this be the limit to what I can keep. And when I view it that way and I go, well, this has too much in it. I can't have all that stuff in my house and stay under my clutter threshold. All those things I explain in my book. Anyway, when I think of it that way, 
then it's like the things I don't like as much as the stuff that I left on here just kind of reveal themselves to me. So anyway, there's my little quick decluttering project for this week. I mean, I'll probably do some other things later this week, but the one that I am sharing with you here um, on YouTube. So, hey, please subscribe. I don't understand how YouTube has been doing lately. It doesn't seem like you automatically get videos if you subscribe, but come back and check. And you can always sign up at aslobchemsclean.com newsletter to make sure that you don't miss anything that's going on.